On November 21st, the landscape of education in our nation is set to undergo a transformative shift as the Ministry of Education embarks on the commissioning of over 80 educational projects spread across the country. This monumental initiative marks a significant milestone in the government's unwavering commitment to strengthening educational infrastructure and broadening access to quality learning environments uh, for students. The completion of these projects signifies not just the physical construction of buildings, but the laying of foundations for a future where education paves the path to progress, equity, and innovation. Quick reminder for those who haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so to stay updated on such insightful content and help us reach our goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Your support means a lot. In a press briefing held at the ministry's headquarters in Accra, the Minister of Education, Dr. Yao Osei Adetwum, addressed a room filled with journalists, educators, and stakeholders. His voice, charged with a mix of pride and anticipation, captured the gravity of the moment. This is a historic moment for our education sector. The completion of these projects reflects our commitment to providing quality education and ensuring that every child has access to a conducive learning environment, he declared. Behind those words was a story of dedication, planning, and the collective push to uplift the nation's educational standards. The projects span across various regions, painting a picture of inclusivity and strategic focus on areas that have long felt the weight of limited resources. Classrooms, libraries, laboratories, and administrative blocks. Each of these structures is not just a physical addition, but a symbol of hope and potential. For too long, many schools, particularly those in rural and underserved communities, have struggled with infrastructure that hampered both teaching and learning. A teacher trying to explain complex concepts in a crowded, under-resourced classroom, or a student sitting on makeshift desks straining to catch each word spoken, these were common scenes that defined the challenges faced by the education system. Now the narrative is poised to change. Dr. Adutwum emphasized this shift in his remarks, recognizing that educational disparities rooted in geography or economic status should no longer dictate the quality of learning a child receives. We recognize that a strong educational foundation is essential for the development, development of our nation, and these projects are a step toward bridging the gap in educational resources, he said, his voice steady and determined. Among the most promising elements of this initiative are the state-of-the-art science and technical laboratories that will soon open their doors to students eager for a hands-on approach to learning. These facilities are set to transform the approach to STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, an area that has become a cornerstone of modern education. Picture a classroom where young minds, once limited to theories in worn-out textbooks, now have the opportunity to experiment, to question, and to innovate. With gleaming lab benches and equipment that meet contemporary standards, these laboratories represent a tangible step toward nurturing a generation of thinkers and problem solvers. Dr. Adetwum was emphatic about the importance of STEM in preparing students not just for local opportunities, but for a global stage. Investing in STEM education is vital for nurturing the next generation of innovators and problem solvers, he noted. Yet the impact of these projects goes beyond brick and mortar. It lies in the echo of voices, the collective ambition of communities, and the realization that change does not happen in isolation. This commitment extends to enhancing teacher training and professional development programs, a crucial component often overlooked when infrastructure is discussed. Dr. Adetwum's acknowledgement of this reality underscored the ministry's holistic approach. We are committed to equipping our teachers with the skills and knowledge they need to effectively engage students and facilitate learning. To understand the significance of this move, one must consider the context. The teachers, who play the indispensable role of shaping young minds, are often the unsung heroes of any educational reform. Their ability to harness new tools and methodologies determines the success of any investment made in infrastructure. A state-of-the-art classroom is rendered ineffective if the teacher standing at the front lacks the training or support to use it to its full potential. With these new projects, the ministry aims to harmonize modern facilities with empowered educators, creating a learning ecosystem 
where potential is not only sparked, but cultivated and expanded. As the date for the Grand Commissioning approaches, anticipation builds not only in the corridors of the Ministry of Education, but throughout communities far and wide. Schools that once bore the marks of neglect will soon stand renewed, their transformation symbolizing a renewed commitment to the nation's children. Local leaders, parents, and education advocates have expressed hope and gratitude, recognizing that these developments hold the promise of a brighter future for their children. One local education advocate voicing a sentiment shared by many said, access to quality education is a right for every child, and these new facilities will provide our students with a better chance to succeed. The commissioning event on November 21st promises to be more than a ceremonial unveiling. It is poised to draw key stakeholders from across the education sector, including government officials, development partners, and community members. These attendees, drawn together by a shared commitment to progress, will witness firsthand the fruition of efforts that began as a vision and evolved into a comprehensive plan. It is a moment to reflect on the strides made, to celebrate the collaborative spirit that made it possible, and to look ahead to the work that remains. Behind the scenes, educators and school administrators are preparing for this next chapter. They understand that the new infrastructure comes with new responsibilities and opportunities. Conversations about how best to integrate these resources into daily teaching practices are already underway. The anticipation is palpable in staff rooms where teachers share ideas and strategize about lesson plans that will take advantage of these modern spaces. There is a shared acknowledgement that with enhanced infrastructure comes the chance to elevate the quality of education provided. The ministry's efforts do not stop at building facilities. Recognizing that educational progress must be sustained by a culture that values and supports learning, an awareness campaign is set to follow the commissioning. This campaign will aim to foster community involvement and highlight the importance of education as a shared responsibility. Dr. Adutwum's call to action was clear. Education is a shared responsibility, and we must work together as a society to ensure that our children receive the best possible education. This message is expected to resonate in town halls, at community meetings, and through the conversations of parents discussing their children's future. The hope is to galvanize society at every level, emphasizing that progress does not rest solely on government initiatives, but thrives through collective effort. As the final bricks are laid and the finishing touches completed, the sense of optimism is tangible. Each classroom, laboratory, and library stands as a testament to what can be achieved when vision meets action. Uh, the investment in education today sets the stage for a generation of students who will not only dream bigger, but possess the skills to make those dreams a reality. These projects are more than mere structures. They are catalysts for change that echo with the laughter and curiosity of students eager to learn, explore, and excel. The completion of over 80 educational projects marks not just an achievement, but the beginning of a chapter in which education is truly viewed as the bedrock of national development. As the nation gathers on November 21st to mark this milestone, it is a reminder that progress, no matter how complex or arduous, is possible when built on the unwavering belief that every child deserves the chance to learn in an environment that inspires and nurtures their potential. This is not just a celebration of what has been accomplished, but a resounding affirmation of what lies ahead, an education sector primed to foster growth, resilience, and the boundless possibilities of the future. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.